so today I'm going to be sharing with you the seven items that every online clothing store owner needs in their life. These items are meant to help you become more efficient and also give you a more aesthetically pleasing look and feel. All of that in hopes to help you grow your business and make your life a little bit easier. So, I want to go ahead and get started, but before I do, I want to let you know that I will be giving away one of these items mentioned today. So, make sure you stick around until the end of the video to find out how you can enter into my giveaway. So the first item for today is the steamer. So this item will save the day in so many scenarios. Because let's say we are at a photo shoot, you grabbed a bunch of random products, and you realize that two of them are super wrinkly and you do not want to shoot them like that. Pull out this guy, bring them to your photo shoot, quickly steam those two products, plug them in, put water in them, it's super simple, and you're good to go. So, item number two on the list is going to be your camera stand or tripod. So, when you order a tripod, I recommend considering purchasing two different types. So, one, you want to get one of these big ones for your professional camera, for your digital camera. These are super, super helpful. They will extend and become much taller. And this is helpful to make sure that you are taking very steady shots of your products. Now the second type that I recommend getting is one for on the go and that is one that is compatible with your mobile device. So what you want to do is make sure that you get one that fits to the type of phone you have, whether it's an iPhone, Android, um, make sure that it is the right size. And then this is super helpful because you can take it on the go with you and take pictures anytime, anywhere. They're often very small, they fold up, sometimes they will extend and get a lot bigger but it's super helpful for taking pictures on the go. And then third, I recommend getting one of these remote shooting tools that allows you to take pictures of yourself by yourself without asking for help. I've talked about these in some of my past videos, but they are so helpful if you wanna take a picture of yourself and your products and you don't, need, you don't wanna ask anyone for help. So with these, just make sure that you get one that syncs up to either your phone or your camera and you can find all of these on Amazon. My favorite tripod is actually the Amazon Basics tripod. I will link to all of these down below in the description bar, but that is the third item that you need as an online store owner. So next up on my list is the clothing rack. So you'll want a clothing rack for a couple of different reasons, but first and probably most obvious is to display your products. So what you'll do is arrange them in a way that looks nice, takes pictures of them for social media, and create content that way, which allows you to display different collections, different styles, you can arrange them by color, make it look nice, make it fit your brand, and post them on Instagram or social media. Next, another reason that an online store owner might want to have a clothing rack is because they want to invite all their friends over and allow them to shop at their store and make it feel like they are browsing clothes just like in a brick and mortar. And then number three, the reason that you also might want to have a clothing rack is if you will be holding pop-up events or vendor shows. So one thing I recommend if you plan to hold pop-up events is to consider getting a different type of clothing rack for those type of events. And the reason for this is because you're going to want one that looks great for social media, but it might not necessarily be on wheels. When you are holding a pop-up event, and I personally learned this the hard way, is that you want to have a very easy way to transport the clothing. So if you can get a clothing rack that's on wheels and folds down and allows you to put those garment bags over them and just plop them into the car, rather than having to unscrew and put together this type of clothing rack, it'll make your life so much easier. So that is the reason you might want to consider having two different types of clothing racks. Now the next item on my list is the Dymo printer. And you need this printer in your life if you are shipping a ton of products per day and constantly having to print shipping labels and waste money on ink 
The diamond printer is a thermal printer. So what that means is you no longer have to replace the ink or the toner. Just imagine how much money you'll save in the long run. So these printers are a little bit more costly up front, but in the long run it will save you time and money because you can print your shipping label directly from the printer, stick it on, it'll print out as a sticker, stick it on your product, and then get it out the door. Just imagine the amount of time you will save. So next up you want to consider investing in the perfect backdrop. Now when I think about backdrops, I think about two different types. One is going to be for your website, and then the other one is going to be for social media. So the one for your website, when I think about website photos, I think about very crisp, clean backgrounds where you can allow your product to stand out and your product to be the hero of the photo. So nothing distracting going on in the background. And what I recommend is using a company called Savage Universal and ordering their seamless paper. Now, if you've been watching a lot of my videos, you've seen me film in front of seamless paper pretty frequently. So it's just going to be the plain paper that you can enroll and stand in front of and shoot your models wearing your products and allow your products to stand out and be the hero of the photo. You can purchase different colors that match your brand. You can buy different sizes and all you have to do is have something to hang them up on and it makes it a very easy way to hold a photo shoot from your home, from your office, wherever you are. Now the second type of backdrop will, that I recommend considering is for social media. So let's say that every week you decide to film yourself trying on your clothes. You do a weekly try on haul where you show off new products. What you want to do is consider creating a backdrop that is a permanent backdrop. So you don't have to spend a lot of time setting it up, taking it down. It can just be a permanent place in your house, in your office, wherever you are. And this allows you to hop in front of it at any time and just quickly film stuff. And that will make your life so much easier and save you time trying to figure out where to shoot each week. So some things to include could be clothing rack, a mirror. Um, I'm going to share a bunch of pictures, examples. So by now you've probably seen a couple different examples that might spark your interest. But basically just pick something that matches your theme. Include a couple of different types of decor and you're good to go. So next up I recommend investing in some cute packaging to ship your products in. So this can be as simple as having a poly mailer that is a certain color that matches your logo or your brand color scheme in some way, or it can be throwing your whole logo onto a customized box or poly mailer, or just simply putting cute stickers on the tissue paper that you wrap your products in. You can also consider using eco-friendly packaging and have that be a part of your brand even if it doesn't look super fancy. Just think about a way to incorporate your brand into your packaging. And lastly for today, I recommend investing in some quality lighting equipment. Because unless you're taking all of your pictures outside, you need at least one solid piece of lighting equipment to make sure that your photography, your product photos are up to a certain level of standard to appear professional for your business and make sure that your products are clearly displayed. So for example, the sun is going down where I am right now, but I have my lighting equipment here to make sure that you can still see me clearly. Now when you are just getting started, I simply recommend investing in a ring light and you can find a bunch of these on Amazon. Now, if you eventually want to move your way up and have a whole studio, build your own studio, then I recommend spending some time learning about three key lighting, which is where you understand where to position certain types of lights to allow for the best shot. But that's pretty advanced, and if you're not there yet, just consider purchasing a ring light. And that will take your photography level from here to here. It's actually crazy how much of a difference quality lighting can have on your 
photography. All right, guys, it is now time for the giveaway. So, what is the item? Well, it is... Can you even tell what this is? It is a ring light! And this is one of the newest models. I will share all the information about it here, but for those of you who are ready to take your photography up to the next level, you need this ring light. So, how do you enter into my sweepstakes, my giveaway? All you have to do is make sure you subscribe and then comment down below or hit a hit the thumbs up button and if you want to comment down below just feel free to share with me the name of your online store or if you don't have an online store yet share with me the name that you would name your store if you had one so i will link all of the rules of the contest down in the description bar along with the terms and conditions so make sure you check those out but with that i hope you guys enjoyed this video and can't wait to see you in the next one